But uh, after that, All we right. get to uh, series sequel fatigue, fatigue or sequel to fatigue. These are games where it's like we we it, it's a sequel that makes us not stop like, making care them anymore. <laughs> this is this is like this is the list of things that need to stop yeah. being made ever. And on the first of the list is Assassin's Creed Revelations, which is yeah. just the same Assassin's Creed. I'm mad that Brotherhood existed already. I kind of forgave Brotherhood on some level just because it's like, hey, multiplayer mode that you've never really seen before. It's actually kind of innovative and creative. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. It could have just been waited for the next sequel, but whatever. Because on a story level, Brotherhood was like, hey, you want to have nothing happen to Desmond for the entire game while we shoehorn an entire sequel to the Ezio story just because we want to like get another game without actually moving forward in any way? That sounds pretty good. I That's didn't like basically Desmond. what they did. They like they put the entire storyline on pause so they can like make a new sequel. Really? It's, it, right down to the part where like Assassin's Creed 2 ends with like the whole point of Assassin's Creed 2 is you're getting this this like piece of Eden or whatever like this is a crazy relic that that's like the MacGuffin for the entire storyline of all these Assassin's Creed games. What? I don't I don't even know the plot of this because I can't follow. Like, it. have you played any Assassin's Creeds before? I played the first one. Like the first one at the end, you get you get the apple. That's like one of the pieces of Eden or whatever. It's like it's the sacred relic. It's like this is a big deal to like what? the Desmond storyline. I don't even know what you're talking about. Remember the final boss like has like superpowers and shit because he's got this relic. And so you get it from him by killing no. him. You have a horrible memory. <laughs> I didn't want to remember the game. It was oh. really bad. Like, but I, I remember Brotherhood, killing people. Brotherhood ended the same way. It's like I mean, uh, I mean, Assassin's Creed Two ends the same way. Like, oh, big boss guy, and he's got the relic. Kill him. You got the relic now. Yay! And then Brotherhood's like, hey, you want to have them lose the relic first thing when the game starts? Then we have an entire game where we do the same shit that happened in the first game, but on a smaller map. How do they lose the relic? Because they, they uh, Ezio handed it off to ex, ex, he uh, handed it off to. Uh, exposable i mean disposable uh family member xyz and then they died and then the bad guys had the relic so they, what? then he spent the whole game getting the relic again it's like you fuckers okay i guess and so that and that's revelations just like this all combining it's like oh here's a brand new game it's also still about Ezio. you're still I'm, you're probably still hunting after relics or whatever the fuck and there's no like brand new multiplayer thing to make me like even vaguely interested in it, so I, I've just kind of given up at this point. It's like that sounds sad. I just don't want to play this. Yeah, that just sounds incredibly sad. And then Batman Arkham City, it's like, eh, that's Batman the next Arkham one. Asylum was good. Just keep yeah, it that. Yeah, Arkham Asylum was incredible, but there's yeah. no reason for a sequel to there it. There isn't no. And then nothing about a big open world with like extended amounts of transportation and moving around sounds like a good addition to Batman. Did you did you see the new uh, the new Batman trailer? No. The new Batman movie trailer. Oh yes. Did, did you know the, that? Did you know the main villain was Bane? Yeah, you did. I knew that like a year ago. I had no fucking idea. I didn't find that until like a couple weeks ago. Like, did you watch the trailer and then not know it was Bane? Yeah, I watched the trailer. Uh -huh. I was like, I was like, who the fuck is this guy with the creepy mask? And then like, I read the comments. Someone was like, wow, that's a really lame looking Bane. I was like, Bane for, is in like Bane? Like for me, like, the main the thing Spanish is Spanish luchador guy. There's like, oh, you know, or Batman. I'm going to yeah. break your spine and like break. Like that, that's not Bane. That well, wasn't even close did, to did fucking. Did you see thing. the Joker and and uh, and pretty much? I'm pretty sure even Scarecrow was didn't really look like the original Scarecrow. Like these are like Christopher Nolan versions of villains. I didn't like the Joker. The Scarecrow looked. You good. didn't like Heath Ledger's Joker? Why would I? It was terrible. What? How? That's not the Joker. Okay, moving on. This isn't even fucking relevant. Sorry, that just that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it just I just that just blew my mind when I Ultimate saw that. Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom three and Dead Rising two off the record. Capcom, Basi stop yeah. re-releasing. Basically, Capcom, stop making games. <laughs> I'm really annoyed by Capcom's tendency to re-release a game they'd made nine months ago for almost full retail price, and it's packed full of content that you cannot access in any way if you have the original version of the game. I thought this is why we made DLC. I know, like, if, if you're gonna have, if it's gonna be DLC, it's kind of not that, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, it'd But be it's like, a whole new game for off the, the record. Because then it'd be like, oh, this the is... whole game's played with Frank Because then it'd be like a DLC pack, and like, oh, this is the game of the year edition. It's like, okay, whatever. But it, it, these are, that's not what these are. It's like, these are like, hey, you, you bought the original game for $60 a while ago? Fuck you! If you want all the new all the content for this game, you have to buy this other disc for forty dollars, and everyone else who buys it now also gets all that stuff for free. So like they just don't spend sixty dollars in the first place. It's like Capcom, we're Capcom. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting to buy Marvel vs. Capcom until it's like twenty bucks. Red Faction Armageddon. Just, just stop. Stop. God. Arm fucking, the plot's Red done. Red Faction. You're, you're done with stop. this. Stop. Go yeah. away, Red Faction. And then Modern Warfare Three. Just. Just, uh, just Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah, I know. Honestly, it's not just Modern Warfare. It's just Call of Duty. Just stop. Like we, you know, there's what? one every year. World War II I, was a great, was a great to... series to make, even though you kind of did it all right. 
but it wasn't like the best and your your time of shine is done like just hand it off or at least hire writers no just, let, just, just <laughs> die just I, have I just, actual no, writing I want, in I your want, story i do not want my children to grow up in a world where call of duty still exists i want that to be dead i want it to be ancient history i want it to be like oh that was the big mistake we made in the gaming history <laughs> Like, I don't want that to ever be relevant ever again. Like, Call of Duty just needs to stop fucking being made. It's just, no, no more of these. No more of this fucking brown war shooter shit. No one cares anymore. I'm fucking done with it. It's just, God, stop it. Just stop. So which, what would you say that was the biggest sequel fatigue from hitting this list? Like, for you know me, what? I want to go with Revelations just because, like, this is a big, like, it's a breaking point for me. Like, this is the game where it's like, this I, came out and I stopped caring about the series. Yeah, I almost want to go with the Capcom just because it happens every game. Yeah. It's not just, it's not like Assassin's Creed is like one game they fuck up on, but Ubisoft is not The only game I can even game. think of by Capcom that doesn't do it is like, uh, Devil May Cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's but all like, I can think of. Street Fighter. Even does Resident it. Evil. Yeah, even Resident Evil. Every fucking Capcom game has a goddamn re like new release version of it. Same game, something different in the same year. It's just like why same do you game, do lower that? price, packed with content you could not get in the for the original version God, in any way just, whatsoever. Therefore, fuck you for buying it on day one. That's just uh <laughs> that's so fucking. Now we get to buy it again, or yeah. else. Uh, yeah.